If you play Siamese Mahjong for American style, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed when you first get your tiles. You can practice and desensitize yourself from that anxiety. I call these random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do so you don't miss anything. Let's get to these Siamese random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. We're just going to say we're the dealer for these random pulls. I'm going to do three. So I'm going to get 28 random tiles. Okay, let's see what we can do with these tiles here. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming when you get no jokers, but they're not required. There's all kinds of things you can do without jokers. Let's see what we can do with this one. So for this random pull, I like to always look for my multiples first. We've got a pair of flowers, a pair of fours and nines. Here's a one, four, and an east. The first opportunity I see is a lucky 13 right here, pair of flowers, one, three, pair of fours and a nine. So we just need to draw in to fill this in, but there are no gaps. Then with the rest of these tiles, I would, oh, look at that. We have, we've got, oh, we've got dragons. Yeah, we, I was thinking we could play the big year hand, but we don't have any twos or sevens in bams and cracks. Okay, so down here, one, three, five, I'm thinking the one through seven consecutive pair hand. And then this and this would be joker bait. I think this is what I would do. Lucky 13, one through seven pair hand. Joker bait discards. As an option, I think I would hold the dragons because maybe we could do three, four, five, or four, five, six with opposite dragons, or even three, four, or four, five with white dragons and flowers. The challenge with that is we need four flowers up here. So I would call that probably joker bait, but I would hold these. So this would give us well, really, technically, 12 discards, but that includes joker bait. If you would do something different for this random pull, write it in the comment section. Okay, so here we go. Do you see what I see? I D D D I D D. I see something you can't see, and the color of it is year pair hand. Two zero one seven dragons. 
we need flowers and a couple pears. So year pear hand. Then for the second option, I would leverage the sevens. Sevens down here, big odds or consecutive six, seven, eight, nine. So I would hold, yeah, well we do have joker bait, okay, all right, year pair hand right here, and then down here probably consecutive six seven eight nine anytime you play consecutive in mixed suits just gather four numbers around your multiple in this case it would be six seven eight nine you don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards just gather six seven eight nine everyone you can get your hands on if five seven nine comes in instead then I would hold every five, seven, nine. So I would say hold five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's a big spread, so you would have to probably be making a choice pretty quickly, but all these discards can go away as you gather, and then a pattern would emerge. If I had to actually pick a hand, I think I would probably play seven eight seven eight nine if i were forced to pick a hand i really wouldn't pick a hand yet but there is a potential for seven eight seven eight nine or yeah i just wouldn't pick a hand see there's not enough tiles to make a decision just gather gather until a pattern emerges Okay, if you would do something different with these tiles, let me know. But I think this would be fun to play out, especially this hand. All we need is a green dragon, a white dragon, and a flower, and we would be ready to win. Okay, let's do one more. All right, so I, again, like to build around multiples, and we do have flowers, east, west, sixes, and eights. So I think what I would try to do is probably east and west with flowers, east and west with flowers. We could even call the west and the east, we would need one more flower to get set. Because we just need two tongues of flowers. So east and west with flowers. Then down here, we have a six and an eight. So there are two things you can do with sixes and eights. You can do either consecutive, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. So I would hold the five. I would hold the evens as well, because we could maybe play something with two, four, six, eight. So I would hold all the evens and consecutives around five, six, or six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, five, six, six, seven, six, seven, eight six five six seven eight we need sevens i think probably an evens hand is going to be better and that gives us nine discards which really isn't too bad i'd rather see us down to eight but 
I think this is a pretty good plan. Either five, six, seven, eight consecutive or uh, uh, evens, two, four, six, eight. In which case we would have one more discard there. So really we probably have uh, 10 or 12 discards. This, this random pull is pretty weak. We'd have to do some really good drawing So I think that's what I would do here. That would leverage these multiples. Actually, it would leverage all the multiples. That's what I would do. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. If you haven't tried Siamese Mahjong yet, get out your set and practice by doing these random pulls. It'll give you a little idea of what it's like to play two hands at one time. Then the next time you play Mahjong, see if you can find a friend, pull to the side and play two hands each and give it a try. There are, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist and the instructions on how to do this. I just wanna give a shout out to Gladys Grad of Mahjong Madness. She's the one who developed this game. A lot of energy went into that. So thank you Gladys for building the game, building the community for everything else that you do with all the tournaments and such. If you haven't gone to any of her tournaments, they're a lot of fun. I've been to one and I hope to go to more. And I would love to play in a Siamese Mahjong tournament. That's one reason why I like to do these exercises. There's random polls, which would, we just did Siamese sprints, Siamese force, where you force hands, and then solitaire. And all those exercises can prepare you for playing in a live game or at a tournament. Give them a try yourself if you have sets at home. And if you have some friends who wanna learn how to play, give it a try. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. You won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next random pulls for Siamese Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.